Let's take a look at Algorand and we'll do some price analysis. Hello and welcome to Operation Crypto and welcome to today's video. Please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel to be notified when I'm going to be pushing out new videos. Trying to get a, a good three or four a week if I can not, if I'm not gallivanting away on holiday. So with today we're going to be talking about Algorand, which is ticket Algo. All right, so we'll start off with some of uh, the key statistics first and then we'll jump over to the charts and have a look at some potential areas you could invest in. Mean, I have done a previous video on Algorand before. It was pretty much a review of a project, but I did do some technical analysis, and we ever since then we have dropped down a fair bit. And somewhere in buy order should have been hit if you um, if you managed to buy some from then. So let's get cracking into this. So Algorand, which is ticker Algo, it's currently ranked number forty-seven out of all cryptocurrencies that we have listed on Coin Market Cap. We have a coin price today, or should I say, a token price of zero point two seven four three eight four dollars. So that's twenty-seven cent. We're slightly up on today's trading. There's a maximum supply of ten billion Algo, and out of those in circulation, we have around one point two billion, um, equivalent equivalenting to three hundred and eight million dollars. So there is a fair bit of money behind this project. Currently, we're getting around fifty three point one million dollars in volume. If we look at our volume, where it's getting traded the most. Coinbase Pro is getting 9% and then Binance is getting around 15% against Tether and BTC. And as you can see, we are trading in a lot of places. We've currently got 124 recognised pairs. But if you look up towards the top, I mean, if you if you look at the top 10, really, some absolutely solid exchanges there. And um, it does give it um, a, good, a good bit of justice behind this project to see why it is in the top, as in some of the best exchanges of this is coin which is it's good to know one final thing before we move into some ta got a chat over good guy recently yeah if you look at the all-time high which was 21st of june we did it three dollars and 28 cents are we a fair way off that yet but there's a lot of headroom to make up and i don't think we can start pushing up to some of them um, all-time highs eventually not yet but we will jump out to the charts now and uh, let's do some technical analysis here we have Algorand versus Tether. This is a monthly chart on Binance. As you can see, the all-time highs was up here. That was around $3.40. We'll mark it up and um, that gives a good area to tag in the future. Uh, we'll change that to... Change it to ready. Uh, stands it out. And we'll mark it as all-time highs. So that, like I say, will give us somewhere in the future to potentially aim at. And what I want to first up start by doing here is marking a couple of key areas of support and resistance. And that will give us some targets in the future to potentially target and look at um, fill in. So as you can see, we have one pretty much there. So that is an area of monthly that would be currently resistance. What I'm looking for is two bodies, or sorry, two weeks that pretty much touch it and then either reject or bounce off it. So that's one area, like I say, that will be a monthly level of uh, resistance at current prices. And let's see if we've got any a little bit lower. I did see one quite down here somewhere. Yeah, that one there. So that is a level of support down there, but that's at 90, so that's a long... Well, it's not too far down what we're trading at now. 24 cents, so it's not a million miles off. Let's see if we've got any more. I think that's about it. So we've got two levels of monthly support and resistance there, so we'll drop into the weekly. Should have a little bit more data here. Again, we'll zoom right out, and then we'll start at the top and just work his way down. So this is when that pretty much listed on Binance, and ever since then it's gone down. Nothing to worry about that, because, I mean most projects from the highs of 2017-18 have all been on a decline we've been on a, a pretty much a three year uh, bear trend so it's it's nothing to worry about that if you look at these two weeks here you could say three weeks really that is a area where which would be um we rejected off at three times there so we'll change that to the weekly i can probably see us having a lot more levels of weekly support and resistance here again we'll just work his way down see what we can find one level there so that area we actually bounced off that as support and then we came through and then we rejected off that area there what i try to do is get a, a good three to four levels and see if we've got enough market structure in place and it looks like we've got one there as well if you look at this wick here we again we rejected off that area and we rejected off it again there 
And I think that might be enough. Let's just see if we can get one down here towards the monthly levels. Surely we'll have one down here. It's quite a lot of wicks. Let's work out. There's one there. So if you look at this wick here. We actually rejected off that wick. We used it as support there. And we probably rejected a bit of good time. So that's another weaker level. So I think we've got enough in place here. That is... Um, yeah, definitely got enough structure. So again, we'll drop into a daily, and this is where I'll do most of my technical analysis. Now, what I want to do first is look at this move that we had from the 13th of March. That's when Bitcoin had that, that COVID dump. I think it dumped around 57%. And ever since then, it's been on a good rise. Um, we've done a solid retracement. But if you just look at as a price perspective, how much we did rise from them, them lows, we did wick right down to $0.09. Cent. And then we jumped right up to 76 cent and we did a 706 percent price raise which is absolutely massive as you can see like i've said there we have done a retracement if you just put the fibonacci on what i tend to do is if i'm looking to invest in a project i look to invest if it well if it's done a major move up i look to invest at a six one eight level usually uh, and for this fibonacci where's my fib Sometimes you can use wick to wick, but personally, I found a lot more confluence with my um, my support and resistance levels. I have to do it from body body, so I'm going to drag it from the bottom. So I'm looking for retracement here from the start of the entire move. I went up to that pretty much. It's close to a double top there, and we have done a 78% retracement. So that's quite big. And and if I were looking to um, buy, I probably said it on my previous video um, when I did Algorand that here would have been a good area to buy. But we lost that level of weekly support and we come right down to a 78% retracement level. And it does seem like we've bounced up. I mean, if we stay in a bearish scenario and um, the market's turn a little bit sour and start flipping down and lose this level, the next area you should have some buy orders in, in my opinion, is this weekly level at 19 cent. I do think that, like I say, if we lose these levels, that is the next area. Beyond that, then there's no other levels down there really i mean you've probably some got some daily levels down here and i mean that could be a level for the bottom down at nine cent but in my opinion i think the markets are too bullish now i i, I do think that this could potentially be at the bottom if it does go down but in my opinion i don't think we'll go down i think we might have bottomed out here we have done a solid retracement i mean it was a solid move up and a solid move down i mean you could say we've got a bit of a Bart Simpson in there. If you put his head in, it might look like him. But yeah, that's... Um, hopefully people took the profits up here. Um, so we'll get rid of that Fibonacci. And what I'm looking to do now is bounce off this 786 level. Let's just put a Fibonacci on the other way and take this move. So I think that we can start to push up here now and aim at this level at 40 cent. We need to try and target the level at 30 cent. If we do break that level of um, resistance, and I'm going to get rid of that fib, it's no help that fib, actually. I think that we need to start flipping this level here. If we push above 30 cent, then the next key level is 40 cent. Uh, and that is a key area. If you flip that monthly level to support, then um, things will start to turn really bullish. If I just put my EMAs on, uh, this, we've had a pretty much it. We've had a downward cross here. As you can see, we've had a little bit of a tick up. If we do get a cross around here, then I do think that we're going to push up to these levels. If I just put the Hitman on, yeah, we're still bearish. This Hitman indicator here works out when there is a shift in market momentum, really, and it is customizable to my settings. I've got this set up on my daily. As you can see, we did get a bearish indicator. It didn't really take effect, but the bullish indicator did. We pushed right up. And then we had a bearish indicator and we've been on, like you say, a, a downward momentum ever since. So I think we're going to start to push up. The EMAs are looking good. Um, we've not had a bullish indicator for a while, so I think we're overdue that. And I do think that should be coming into effect soon. So I think we can flip this level to su to support and then push up. And and then once we get to 40 cent, I will reevaluate evaluate this video and do a further uh, analysis to where I think the price could go. And potentially get... We will have a few more... Um, uh, weeks or months of data by then uh, and i can do some more in-depth technical analysis what i want to do is just have a look at the btc pairing personally i don't trade in btc um but a lot of people do as you can see bitcoin's been on a massive rise and altcoins have been bleeding out a lot um i think this has bottomed out in my opinion there as you can see we've had a good bounce up off uh what we could call that 1600 satoshis 
So if you're looking to buy in and you're trading sats, look how far down we've come. It's probably the lowest we've ever been in a Satoshi value since since pre highs of 2018 so i do think now will be a great area to buy in in satoshi value uh, around 16 1700 sats would be pretty much a solid odd for our future uh, i think i will wrap it up for today's video so that would just some analysis to where you should buy i mean down at, um, at that level could be a potential at 19 cent but if we do flip bullish then I will reevaluate the video at this point. So, thanks very much for listening. Um, that's just a brief analysis to have a look at some potential areas that we could target uh, and just some basic, um, pre pretty much a basic lesson on how to plot your support and resistance levels. So, thanks very much for listening. Um, please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel. If there is any other projects you would like me to check out and do some basic TA on, then drop uh, them in the comments below and I will um, add them to the list and get cracking with them. So thanks so much for listening and I will catch you next time.